I've revolutionized the Pendulum game yet again. If you play Pendulums, you must watch this video. Going first is already an auto win. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows when you play Pendulums, going first is an auto win. Forget that. Forget making your deck to go first, okay? Forget building a deck that is only good going first. You need a deck that can win going second. So I was in this matchup here. He's a great duelist. Shout out Pablo Sarusa. Look at this. We had a whole match. I won the die roll. I'm like, you go first. I want to break boards. I want to break boards. I'm like, bro, I beat him game one through five interruptions. I beat him game one through five interruptions. But I want to show you the combo that revolutionizes pendulums going second forever. And I show you guys in this duel. Uh, I want he's gonna go first here. I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna let him do his thing, and you're gonna see on my turn the combo that revolutionizes pendulums forever. Now, yes, you see Orcas Nightmare in there. Damn right, Orcas, Orcas are broken going second. You guys know how much I love Orcas. Going second, they're absolutely broken, and something the opponent does not see coming. They're gonna waste all their interruptions, all their fog blades, all their uh, babbles, their Orcas pops, their Salaman great cards, rage, roar. Call by the grave, whatever the shit, all, all my pendulum cards. And then on my turn, on my turn, when, when they expect no orca, I don't know what mermaid. Uh -huh. Do they brick? No. Orcas don't brick. You just pen summon them. Or you just, like, you, you put up one of your 30 turbo cards. You put up one of your 30 turbo cards. You put up one of your 30 turbo cards and an orcas card, boom. And normal sound, boom, you got orcas, orcas, right? Like, out of nowhere. Like, orcas is the end goal here. Or then Gears to Rusty Pop 2 going second. So, like, everything in this deck is revolved around going second. You sacrifice the deck to go going first to be better going second. And then you side... I took a Guard Dragons from the extra deck. But I side into the Guard Dragons going first to ensure that I still put up infinite in the gates, right? I will talk about the theory and deck list in another video. This is specifically the video where I show you the combo that revolutionizes Pendulums forever. As I am about to OTK him. OTK, not win. I am about to OTK through... Matt, through Dark Law, Crescendo, Called by the Grave, and Fog Blade. Okay? So, and with five cards in hand. So, I'm playing through five interruptions here. I lost a card from Dolphin, wherever that card is. Screw this card. Because of Dolphin, I lose a card in my hand, which is a great pendulum called Target, Orcus Nightmare. I have five cards, and I'm dealing with Dark Law with a useless shrine. A called by a crescendo of fog blade. Five cards versus five cards, and I'm gonna OTK him simply because pendulums are the greatest deck in the planet, and pendulums now, when built properly, are a force to be reckoned with. Enjoy. So he's gonna match chain two off the bat because he knows that some fire stuff is gonna be coming via pen call. Uh, get some stuff in grave. He's scared that I'm going to or uh, pen call Orcas Dragon or Vina Orcas. He saw game one. I'm playing all this crazy stuff, and there's even more crazy stuff I didn't mention yet, which you guys are going to see. You guys are about to see some unbelievable combos going second. Obviously, going for I guess everyone going first. You already know he's going to win. He hits call by the grave off the top because he's scared that uh, I'm going to shotgun the nightmare. And there we go. So we're done for Crescendo Fog by Dark Law, and I have these cards up. Let's go. So I'm going to have Doctor, i got to be scared with the, the Dark Law destroys Pendulum. So I'm very scared about that. i got to be careful. Now, uh, he crescendos the Chronograph simply because he saw some shenanigans game one where Chronograph's effect in hand obliterated him. He's scared. And Time Gazer as well. Because Time Gazer makes sure Abductor won't get popped by Ghost Ogre. Uh, lots of reasons for it. He doesn't want Abductor to get the counters. He's scared Abductor's going to get the counters, and he wants to avoid that. I pen call out there, but pen call gets destroyed by Dark Law because I'm really only adding one. I told him earlier, we're kind of playing really fast. Uh, I put the chrono after Chronograph gets crescendoed, I put another Chronograph in the scale as well. So if, imagine this Chronograph here is in the scale, okay? So the Chronograph here is in the scale, and then I pen call the useless shrine because it's Dark Law, so it's useless. He hit the Chronograph, I told him before, I'm like, y'all, the Chronograph goes in scale first. Uh, we're in a rush because we want to uh, finish this match quick. Uh, so he, he then he's going to get rid of one of the cards in my hand. The, he picked the Dragon Pit, obviously, randomly. And here's where we're going to do some crazy stuff. Abductor now is going to get Harmonizing. Now, I know this is a Fog Blade, okay? I can normal Harmonizing, go into Electrum, and he's going to Fog Blade past. You know? But I'm not playing typical Garbage Pendulum. Like, I'm playing Triff Pendulums. Triff Pendulums. So what I do here is I, I Special Summon Harmonizing. Okay? Look at this now. Uh, does this look like an OTK? He has, a, he has a fog blade. This is, who thinks this is an OTK? No one. No one. Triff. This is an OTK. Look at this. 
Okay, it doesn't matter what he has now. It's OTK regardless. Regardless of what he has through anything. So I'm going to pendulum summon the harmonizing. Forget Electrum altogether. I'm going to pendulum summon the harmonizing. I, who knew that I was going to... OT came through five interruptions. I'm going to OT came through five interruptions without Electrum. Who would have knew? Who would have thought of that? Harmonizing effect. Response. He fog blades because Yazi put in work last game. So he's scared that if I go into Yazi, pop dark, destroy Dark Lord by battle... Pop Fog Blade, then you're gonna have a free monster on board, five cards. One of them gonna add, we'll get, well, I have a card next to that gives me a plus one. Then I'm gonna Orcus combo him. <laughs> like he's scared. You see how good this deck is, right? So now I uh, go into, so now that you Fog Blade the Harmonizing, he thinks, oh, what's he gonna do now? So I have a Harmonizing and a Gazer. What could I do? I have a Harmonizing and a Gazer. Is that a, is that a, am I gonna win with a Harmonizing and a Time Gazer? What am I gonna do now? Harmonizing and Time Gazer is the only thing I have left. Can I OTK him? Damn right I'm going to OTK him through one Yazi. But hey, if I go Boral Sword, I can't OTK. What can I, how can this be OTK? This is the combo that changes Pendulums forever. And this combo is going to revolutionize Pendulums forever. You have nine Distrudos in your deck. Sorry, you have ten ways to Distrudo. LP brings out Distrudo. And Harmonizing is a one-card Yazi. You have 50 one-card Yazis in your deck. And you interrupt everything until Yazi is the last thing left. And this is you OTK your opponent. Your opponent will never see it coming. Get, or the way you OTK your opponent when you second without them seeing coming, they waste all their interruptions on your pendulums, and then you save this combo or Boros or Orcus combo of Boral Sword to OTK them. Here it is. Yazi pop Dark Law. Now Yazi bring on Mare Mare. Mare Mare bring on three tokens. Now look at this absolutely remarkable combo. Two of the tokens go into B Cop. One of the tokens go into Link Karibo. These two go into Rusty. Rusty, oh my god, this combo is broken. Rusty, bring out Brigadine and Fogblade. Brigad now Mare Mare is level 4. Mare Mare, Brigadine, Utopia double, OTK. Yazi equals pop the prop, pop, anything that's going to interrupt double, and then attack. Valor can't stop Utopia double because you say going enter battle phase, you're going to have to use Valor before you enter battle phase, and then you change its effect. Or chain its effect, get the double or nothing, you still OTK. They would have ashed something. They would have ogre something already. They would have sent an impermanence. So there's no hand traps that stop Utopia double because they would have ashed or ogred already. So if you get that far, where the, all their interrupts are going to be on board. So Yazi just popped the impermanence, popped the fog blade, which they can't target the Yazi, and then Utopia double. It's absolutely broken that any pendulum would have stopped instantly after the fog blade. They would have said, oh shit, go, and you're going to OTK. But not this pendulum. This revolutionizes the pendulum game forever. Tell me which pendulum deck in the world could clear a Dark Law, a Crescendo, a Fog Blade, and a Call by the with five cards in hand without even using Electrum. I'm at a loss for words. This deck is absolutely remarkable. I'm going to do... I've been testing non-stop the past few days for it. I'm going to be featuring this whole deck. And this is without the Orcus combo too. This whole combo wasn't even with the Orcus combo. In a future... Like, Orcus went in in game one versus, versus Guy Pablo. We had a great match. But... The way that look, we have Mythical Beast Garuda. We have search search we have uh Cerberus searches Garuda. That's four outs to Mystic Mind, Babel, Crescendo, uh Roar, Rage, you know? Uh, Abductor searches Eccentric, because you have 30 spell cards, so you always have all these outs to the problem cards. You the whole deck is revolved around going second. Bring it rusty and Dengersu says pop two cards. These cards don't brick. You're going second. You have a, a sixth card to deal with. And you need a card to discard for Mermaid. You just If you hard draw any of these cards you don't want, you just discard it. If you draw any of the Orcus monsters, you need to Pendulum Summon it. Because all the monsters on board is amazing for Orcus. And you, like, it's just absolutely remarkable, remarkable deck. And going first, you Orcus into Oblivion. And in the future, we'll show a deck profile probably tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. I'll show it tomorrow. I obliterate people. I have this is I have ten du like in ten duels against meta boards going for second through four interruptions. I OTK them eight out of ten times. OTK like not just win. OTK eight out of ten times because they use all their four interruptions to stop my pendulum combo and my orcus combo. And then just before like they'll stop mermaid, they'll stop electrum. Then out of nowhere, who expects two level fours to come into Utopia double? Or I'll use Utopia double to bait them and then I orcus combo after that. They just, it's an absolutely remarkable idea that everyone in Pendulums must play. I thought about it. I didn't want to show anyone this list because I wanted to save it for when I get unbanned. But there's no chance whatsoever that LP, uh, like, this crazy combo is Guard Dragon now. Uh, like, going first, you put up eight interruptions. Going second, you OTK them. There's simply no better deck. And hand traps do absolutely shit all. 
Like the deck just blitz streaks through all interruptions. Like what are you, there's no uh, hand trap in the game right now except for Droll that stops you. There's no trap in the game that stops, stops you. Even Sanctum's irrelevant because even through Sanctum, you're going to clear their board and, OT and hope you don't OTK, then you OTK in the next turn. The only decks that play Sanctum are decks that can't even OTK you. So guys, that's a deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Subscribe if you like the video. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.